Guess what? What? Your offer was accepted. Yeah! The offer was accepted! Yeah. <laughs> We're pulling up right now. McKenna is the one on the okay, left. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> to film am i even centered let me check okay oh, this, this lighting is pretty good not gonna lie i don't even know where to start with this video this has been a video i've been dreaming of filming for years one of my biggest goals in life is to purchase a home. I have been wanting to own a home since I was young, be able to do what I wanted with the space. Even before I got into interior design, purchasing a home was always my dream and I did it, you guys. Like, I purchased a home. And the first thing I wanna say in this video is thank you so much. Thank all of you guys. Thank you to every single person out there who watches my videos, who comments on my videos, who supports my content, because that's why I'm able to purchase a home. Like, I would have not been able to do that without your guys' help, your support. Of course, this is what I do as my job full time and I absolutely love it. Waking up every day and posting on Lone Fox or just interacting with you guys in the comments, whatever it is, it is my all time favorite thing and this is just the next chapter of Lone Fox. I got the keys this morning as well, which just makes it that much more official. I knew I wanted to film this on the morning of getting my keys. I am just so excited. And by the way, you guys, Marie is still moving with me. She is gonna be living here. We are inseparable, honestly. Now I do just wanna talk about this place, how it came to be, why I purchased a home at this point in time, my search for a home, really everything. And I actually have some other houses that I toured as well that I'm gonna share with you guys. There's gonna be a bunch in this video. Now, I moved into my current apartment about two and a half years ago, and if you've been a follower of Lone Fox, you have seen me make over that space over the past two and a half years. It has been the main premise of my channel and the content that I have been filming, and that apartment truly means so much to me. I genuinely feel like if one day that building goes for sale, I would really want to purchase it. Um, I even have a tattoo of the window in my bedroom on my arm. That's how much I like the space. My hunt for a home really started about, I would say 16 months ago or so. Um, I ended up getting a realtor, his name is Jonathan, and I was recommended to him from quite a few people in the LA area that are also interior designers. And he's a great, great realtor. I also love how he just gets aesthetic. So he was able to really send me a lot of properties that was like, hey, this is an older home, or hey, this has a really cool vibe to it you might enjoy. And that was something that I liked because he understood what I was looking for. The first space that I absolutely fell in love with was a home on Laurel Canyon. All right, so here's like the back of the house and there's this whole big like patio area and then this is the view off the side of the back. So that's like Laurel Canyon there. Such a cute fireplace. And here's a view to the court, courtyard area. And this little sunroom, which is so pretty too. And it's quiet in here. It's like, it's a busy street, but it's like pretty quiet. Um, and this super cute bathroom, which I'm obsessed with this freaking window ledge. This is a dining room. This is a living room, which is so pretty. And a little balcony, which is so cute. Look at it. It felt like a fairy home, you guys. When I saw this space in person, I was ready to max bet my offer. Like I was ready to go all in on this house. I absolutely loved it. And as I went to pull out of the open house, it took me 23 minutes to make my way onto the main street. That's how long it took for some car to let me in. And I realized that Laurel Canyon was not for me. That home was stunning, and I actually found out how much it sold for a little bit later, which was only a little bit more than the asking price. And I, cannot believe it only sold for a little bit more than asking because this home was dreamy you guys it just it wasn't perfect for me but whoever owns this home i really hope they don't tear it down and turn it into something else because it had so much character it was beautiful it probably took me a solid month to want to go look at another home after seeing this one because i was just so sad that i couldn't live here like it just wasn't feasible for me it wasn't the right decision and i ended up finding another space and it was a condo and i was like drew do you want a condo why are you gonna go look at a condo you already know that 
that. It's 14 floors up. It was a penthouse condo in Hancock Park. And again, if you guys know Los Angeles area, Hancock Park is absolutely gorgeous. It is my favorite city in all of LA, or I guess my favorite place for the homes because a lot of them are older, they're really large. The facades on these houses are unreal like just beautiful and there's so many different styles of homes so i was like i'm gonna go tour this 14 story condo like i want to go look at this so i ended up going to look i saw that the ceilings were like 30 feet high it felt like college me would be so excited because in college all i wanted to do was live in like a penthouse in downtown la and like have a great view that's what i wanted in my life and this just felt like oh my gosh like kind of that penthouse vibe but i saw the photos and it was beautiful i had wood beams in the ceilings fireplaces it looked really interesting so I ended up going and touring this space but it was another space that just wouldn't work for what I do I realized that I didn't want to be lugging up and down the elevator furniture or supplies from the craft store DIY projects not being able to go outside to spray paint it just wasn't the right choice again but I did go ahead and look at this place it ended up selling as well for just a tiny bit under asking like 20,000 under asking this next home when I stepped foot into the gates I felt like I was in a different country I felt completely transported and I was like this is my home this this is the home for me. I stepped foot in and I'm somebody that absolutely adores nature. Like I love nature. I cannot tell you guys how much I love the exterior of this house. The backyard had a big swimming pool. There was lemon trees. There was little pathways on the sides of the homes that led like from bedroom to bedroom. There was like little secret entryways. It was just a cute house and the interior was just as great. There was like two different living room areas, a humongous guest room with vaulted ceilings, the primary bedroom had this step down bathroom that I loved as well. It was really interesting and the bathroom was super pretty as well. And there was like a little office space, dining room and a humongous studio space, which would have been perfect for the Lone Fox, like, you know, where I do all my videos and keep all of my craft supplies. Something that I noticed immediately upon walking into the home was there was 8,000 people there looking at it as well. Like this house, everyone wanted it. It was really pretty. They did a beautiful job on the listing as well. So I can definitely see why. And this was the first space I actually did a physical written offer for. I'm at a cafe with Marco and Marie. And Ethan and Melissa were here, but they ended up getting some food. But we're putting an offer on the house today, which is really, really exciting. And we hope that we get it. So I'll let you guys know. We're gonna submit it 15 minutes before so that no one can come in and figure it out and I think we should hear back tomorrow so I'll probably be back tomorrow and let you guys know what happens. And sadly it didn't get accepted. Um, it, they did say that it was in the higher end but there was a couple people that outbid me and I just wasn't going to go higher than that. I already was quite a bit over asking um, and I knew that they listed it lower just to kind of get people in the door so I didn't want to go too much higher and I kept it as is and the hunt was back on. I was laying in bed one night and I saw that a duplex actually popped up just 0.3 miles from my current apartment. And I was like, you know, I haven't really considered a duplex, but let's take a look. And I looked at the photos and started scrolling through and I just saw so much architectural interest. I loved the fireplaces. I loved the wood beams. I loved the archways, the original wood floors, the tile in the kitchen. There was just so much to love. So I knew I wanted to go and look at this home. And that's what I did. I ended up going on a trip to Palm Springs and they gave me an hour when I got back to look at it and basically told me that they had three offers on the home and I had an hour when I got back to look at the space and see if I wanted to write an offer. I sped home from Palm Springs, got to the house, unlocked the lockbox and spent an hour between both units and the next day I knew I wanted to write an offer. Okay guys, so it is a new day and I put my offer in on the house the other day. I think I mentioned that to you and we have been going back and forth this morning negotiating, which is kind of fun. And I feel like I'm kind of in like the driver's seat a little bit because I know that these owners want to sell the house really badly. They're already moved out of it. So I definitely want to get the house for as cheap as I can, of course, but I'm also not going to go in at a crazy amount under. We already submitted an offer. Um, we had a counter offer today, which is pretty close to the original asking price, which sorry, Sorry, that's not gonna fly. That is not gonna fly because I offered quite a bit under asking. We're gonna counter back and um, I guess I'll keep you guys kind of updated. Okay, I have a little bit of news. I'm working on my bedroom makeover right now, but it'll be out probably by the, I mean, it will be out by the time that this video goes up, but um, we got a counter back and the counter is a lot lower. So they did lower their price. I'm glad to know that because the original counter, the first one was so close. I was like, are they even going to budge on this? They dropped it quite a bit. It's still not as close as I want it to be. So I'm countering back. Um, and we're going to see from here. So I'm going to counter one more time and I'm hoping that they're going to accept this offer because I'm going to counter in their favor, kind of closer to their number, but still a little bit more reasonable for myself. 
you guys, my realtor is calling right now and he has not called me in this entire process of been texting, so this might be good news. Hello? Guess what? What? Your offer was accepted. Yeah! The offer was accepted! <laughs> wow. I love, I love our harsh negotiation. Yeah, you're a tough negotiator. I gotta say, I think I, I learned a couple things from you because you are very, very serious. Yeah. The work actually oh no, we're getting every dollar that we need. Yeah, we need all that money to, to put into the house. Oh my gosh, this is okay. crazy. You're gonna make it look so beautiful. I'm so excited for you. Yay, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Um, okay, so what am I supposed to do next? <laughs> well, next you're gonna have to, you know, get your inspectors lined up, check and see what's going on with the house. You know, look and see in, in the structure, you know, what's behind the walls, how are the systems, and you gotta feel comfortable with oh, it. Like, I was just start planning on starting. Or everyone didn't want to do any of that. You, know, you want to get people out there to kind of help you and make what you're gonna do with this space. Come on, you. Get close as to what that will take uh, in terms of you know, the actual and some of the things that you can do with the option and what you can do with the option and what you can do with the option and what you can do But basically, that's kind of the first step. Okay, okay. I love that first step. That nice long first step. <laughs> How long have we been looking? For probably like a year? Yeah, it's been it's been a while. I mean you've been looking at things and waiting to see if something was the right fit. You found it. Yeah, but I know. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Hello, good morning, guys. It is a couple days since I last talked to you, and I think, well, I know, actually, that the last time I talked to you was after my offer was accepted on the duplex, which is so exciting. Also, I don't even know if I mentioned that it was a duplex yet. It is a duplex unit uh, that I'm going to be combining into one place and then if I want to like you know move out in the future or rent it out in the future whatever it might be I can go ahead and connect them back up and I'm going to share that all with you guys throughout the process of course so today um is the first inspection it's like the main inspection today which is good uh but we do have four different inspections for this house because it's an older home and so we have a sewer a sewer inspection like sewer and plumbing a chimney inspection a termite inspection and then a general home inspection. So there are four different ones. Today's a general home inspection, which kind of like encompasses all that. Lots of inspecting to be done, but that is good because it's gonna give us like, you know, more of an understanding of what work needs to be done because I'm sure there's some on this home that's from 1929. My realtor Jonathan just texted me and said that they just finished up the general inspection over at the house. And you guys, I also don't know if I mentioned this, the house that I'm buying, or it's a duplex. I'm just gonna call it a house because it's a house to me. Uh, the house that I'm buying is only 0.2 miles from my current apartment. Like it is around the corner. So I can literally like run over if I wanted to, uh, but I'm gonna quickly drive over there and he's gonna kind of go over the rundown of the general inspection. I have no idea what happened, so let's see. This is your guys' first glimpse at the house. I. <laughs> this is actually the courtyard in the front of the home. So the front door is right around here. Well, like I mentioned, it's a duplex. So there's kind of two front doors. There's one on the left side of the building and there's one in this courtyard area. And this is the courtyard. <laughs> Look at these arches. And there's a huge fountain right here as well, which makes such a beautiful water noise. Okay, let me go find Jonathan. <laughs> Hello! This is Jonathan, you guys. This hey. is my realtor. He is the best. So if you're in Los Angeles and you need a realtor, what areas? Do you just do like all of LA? Yeah, I do Los Angeles, like West Hollywood. I also do Pasadena area where I grew up as well. But okay, so I guess I'm here for the inspection. Yeah, so we just had the general inspection. There are a couple of items that were discovered with it. Like one, I'm standing in front of the chimney, obviously because there is an issue with it. <gasps> it's been deteriorated. I mean, it is an older chimney, right? Vintage chimney. Literally vintage. Like, oh, you guys, let me show you this too. I want to show you the chimney. Because Jonathan, you told me that this is a batch elder yeah, fireplace. Yeah, so this is like batch elder tile, which is a uh, prolific tile maker of the early 20th century. And he has a lot of like really beautiful uh, tile work. But when you have something like a batch elder, it's a really wonderful uh, statement piece. You actually have two of them. Because, oh yeah, because uh, there's a fireplace directly upstairs, you guys, as well, because it's a duplex. So it's it, the units are actually pretty near. Uh, you do basically just want a chimney company to come take a look at it and make sure that they can, you know, rework it, you know, put new mortar. It's made out of cement. Just basically make it so no flames can escape and catch the house on yeah, fire. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it actually is working, you guys, as well. It's like a real working 
fireplace. So we basically found a plumbing issue. You have some leaks present in the house that's under the house and under under the house. <laughs> and one of them is actually coming from this access panel. The This actually goes into the bathtub. You guys look at this. I'm not gonna share with you any more of that. So <laughs> that's the Oh, bathtub. that is beautiful. And it goes all the way down underneath the house uh, and that's where all the plumbing's located. But basically what's happening is that the plumbing right now has been done in an incorrect way, so it's pooling, and the water pools enough where it does actually leak. It's coming out of the pipes downstairs. Imagine going in there. It's down there. Very Annabelle. Should I drop my camera? <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could like pull it back up. The sellers also left all of their rugs here and asked if I wanted them, but they're actually kind of cute. Like, look, this one's woven, but then the other side is tufted. A lot of what Jonathan's talking about is in the lower unit, but in the upper unit, there wasn't too much. No, it's in great condition. The upper unit, you guys, has just recently been renovated, so a lot of it has like new cabinetry and new appliances, a lot of newness up there, which is great. So a lot of what had to be done is down here, but Jonathan also mentioned that we can't find the key to the basement. <laughs> we don't know where that is. Um, and the guy that came over to look at everything needs to get into the basement, so he's gonna have to come back on Sunday. So we're hoping that we can find the key or get that in the next couple of days. But once that happens, I'll update you guys. And of course, I still don't know how much some of these fixes that we need made are gonna be, so that'll also be. We'll find that out shortly as well. Yeah. After he looks on Sunday, then we'll get a report. So I'll keep you guys updated. Good morning, guys. I am. I'm not doing anything actually. I'm pulling up to Starbucks right now. One second. Oh, they're probably wondering why I'm adjusting my camera. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Got the coffee. I'm heading to pick up a special guest in a moment. So uh, I'll see you when I get there. Hiking. Oh, that's literally fine. I'm, I'm, that's who oh. I am. That's who I am as a person. <laughs> Quiet, I would totally. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Hi, guys. You guys, McKenna is back from Texas. So I went hiking, so I look a little crazy. And literally, I didn't even know she was coming back. And I saw on your Instagram story that you were in LA, and I was like, oh my God, I bought a house. Do you want to go look? I said, yes. I, I said, like, pick me up now. Like, li I, we texted like 10 minutes ago because yeah. we live around the corner. She's like, I'm just at Chipotle, be home in five. I was like, hey, be there in 10. <laughs> So we're heading so over excited. there. Oh, no. You know, okay, so I had a dream three weeks ago that you bought a house. I bought, well, you, I put the offer in three weeks ago. I closed in one week. I put the offer in on July, for, on June 1st. Is it, okay, what color is the house? Wait, do you know what color? No, I don't know. I just had a dream that Wait, you bought a house and what it looked like. Do you know what color in your dream? Yeah, it was like a beigey color. Oh, okay. I literally thought you were just going to say a baby blue color because it's baby blue. Baby blue. Yes. Oh my gosh, I thought you were going to be like, oh my God. Imagine just like literally in your yeah. dream what it was. No, that would be insane. But oh I did. God. I had because I felt it like coming. Mm -hmm. You know? It was time. Like, it was it's time. time. But I mean, okay, so here's the thing though. In Los Angeles, how expensive are homes? That's why, why you think I bought one in Texas? <laughs> that's why it took me forever. Oh I had yeah. to keep on saving you guys. Like, and I think I'm mentioning that in the intro of this video too, is yeah. like the reason why it took me so long was because houses here are just like, even just a small house is oh, yeah. so expensive, yeah. like overly expensive. Um, it's actually duplex, but I'm turning it I into- In my dream, it was a duplex. Oh, ah, yay! Let's just go over there and Because it was a great see. decision. Yes, you know? it, I'm so excited to show it to you. I'm <laughs> We're pulling up right now. McKenna is the one on the okay, left. Baby blue, baby blue, baby blue. What? Are you serious? I promise. It's I promise. I know. It has a courtyard. Okay, guys, we're walking up to the second unit right now. I'm like, I've been in an Italian museum. Yeah. Like, that's what it feels like. It's you're in Tulum. Like, you're in like a little villa. In a villa? This is incredible. Can I move in? Yeah, uh huh. There, there's enough rooms. <gasps> I have some information about the inspections that we were able to do. Okay. Uh, do you have some time? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, so with the sewer and the plumbing, basically what's happening with the plumbing system is that it's grading incorrectly, which means that it's sloping in the wrong direction, which allows the water to pool. So they gave us a quote for 59.85 that basically will fix that work. We're gonna, um, we can add that to the credit or like the credit request, yeah. Of course, yeah. Okay. What we'll do is that we will add all these figures up uh, and, you know, submit it to 
helping sellers and say that this is important to you. I think systems are super important. Uh, these are very important things for, you know, safety issues. Basically, if you've never purchased a home before, uh, which I've never purchased a home before, so a lot of this information is completely new to me as well. When you purchase a home, there's inspection periods. With the information that you find out on what needs to be fixed, you can essentially ask for credit from the seller that is selling the home. So we're going to add up all of the figures at the end and basically be like, this is how much the home, how much money we need to put the home in like living order or where it should be and where it was like kind of listed as. Uh, and and we'll take it from there. We successfully found the key for the basement and the inspection actually happened yesterday and I just met Jonathan up. He's in the basement. We're both in the basement. And we're going to look at the errors or issues that need to be fixed down here. So basically what we found out with your foundation is that you have a lot of spalling and spalling is essentially, you know, where there's a deterioration of this concrete. This concrete's original. Yeah. It's from the, the late 20s and it's made of sediment and rocks and spalling is basically, as you see, is turning into sand. So. Uh -huh you have a lot of concrete in this foundation <laughs> it's in really good condition uh it's been bolted so retrofit uh in an earthquake you're good um however there are areas even on the perimeter that need to have some mortar applied to it okay, so you can essentially glue this lock it all in exactly yeah. so if this were deteriorating more and if it were like deeper then you know that would be a much bigger issue but this is more cosmetic yeah this is so crazy like you got <laughs> Oh, you almost just broke my house. I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, literally look, you can see under the entire framework of the house, which is so crazy. This is like all of the electrical, um, I don't know what else is down and there. And if you look in the corner right there, you can see the Oh brackets. yeah, those are the brackets. Those the, are the bolts. The silver braces over here, like right there-ish, those are the additional bolts, which are just like extra stability for earthquakes. So remember when we were upstairs and we saw like the back of the, the, uh, the bathtub. Yes. yes, yes yeah. Panel. So that's actually the piping down there. Oh, okay. And as you can see, it's tilted to the wrong direction. So the way that it's sloping right now, water essentially has to pool there and the water has to get to a certain level before it flushes this out, flushes it out. You don't want that. And it's actually starting to, uh, leak outside of that pipe. Okay. You can see like the white areas around like the tips and whatnot, and that was done incorrectly. So I think it's really important that you get that fixed because if it was done, you know, somewhat recently, uh, a plumber shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. It has been about two weeks since I last talked to you guys, and it's really just been a waiting period. Now, with this home, we did a 30-day escrow. The owners were actually already moved out, both owners in the top and bottom unit, so they just wanted the house sold right away, or the duplex sold, and I I also would love it right away. I love a good instant gratification. I have so much going on right now that it honestly, like, I feel like I can't even, like, enjoy it as much as I would love to. I feel like I'm gonna actually enjoy it once I'm able to move into the home and, like, actually, you know, get there, but we have a notary coming over at the moment, a travel notary that way I could sign the last paperwork the last loan docs from escrow and you guys the house is gonna be mine in three days which is so so crazy so we're just waiting for the I always say we but it's me like I'm all I'm waiting for um, the guy to come the notary and I'm gonna sign those loan docs just finished signing all of the papers with the notary, which I've never done anything like that before. That felt really official, like an actual official document I had to sign. But anyways, I have my copies here, and now you guys, we are really just waiting three days until the close of escrow, which is in just a couple of days, which is so exciting. And then I get the keys, and I can share with you guys the place. It is officially July 1st. I don't know if you could see that on the screen there, but it is officially July 1st, which means I have closed today. And my realtor texted me this morning and said, you close. And I said, yeah, yay, yay, yippies. This is so exciting. It's the last and final day, you guys, of this journey, which actually has been a lot shorter than I thought. Um, it went really, really smooth. There was quite a bit of just paperwork involved. Like that's all I can say is paperwork. Uh, and yeah, so we're gonna get the keys in a couple minutes. Woo! <laughs> all right, here you go. Yay! Literally, officially yours. I'm officially a homeowner. Woo! Now I can get a house. <laughs> you guys, this is the house. <gasps> Until next time. 
Okay, I couldn't leave you guys hanging and just quickly wanted to give an outro to this video because it was such a epic video, honestly. Like I purchased a home and I closed today, you guys. I got the keys today. I cannot wait to start making over the space every single room, you guys. And we're gonna be doing it all together. And I want to also mention that if you are not following me on Instagram, I highly, highly suggest that you do so because I'm really gonna be asking you guys so, so many design choices, which tile to choose, which paint to choose. I wanna have your guys' opinions on absolutely everything, but it really is the easiest way for me to do that over on Instagram. So we have so much content, just get prepared, click that subscribe button if you are not already, and turn on your notifications if you do not have them on, which is just a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. But I'll catch you guys in my next one. Thank you all so much. This is exciting. Bye guys.